the car's engine clunking when you put it in and out of gear? Well, all that clunking you saw under here is the motor mounts being worn, so instead of the engine being solid, it goes back and forth as the engine puts out torque. Now, motor mounts go bad in one way. The metal bolts to the frame, the inside bolt bolts to the motor, and the rubber keeps the engine from vibrating that mounts it on. And what generally happens is the rubber rips. Now, some of them have silicone inside and they're thin, then they rip even faster. They can break in two or three years. This one's 11 years old, so the rubber's just cracked, and it's time for a new one. Now, first, we'll move the reservoir for the coolant out of the way. That way we can get to the mount itself and the bolts that hold it in place. But we can't take the bolts off right now because if we do, the motor will fall down. So we're getting a jack here, and we're just sticking it under the oil pan and making it snug so it'll hold in place. Now on this design motor mount, you can't get to the bottom bolt. So we're going to take the piece that bolts to the frame off, take that whole assembly off, and replace it off the car, then bolt it back on. So we'll remove all the bolts, then we can grab the whole assembly, pull it out of the way. And as you can see right here, the whole thing is cracked right in half. It's completely split in half. So now we unbolt the old motor mount and put the new one in. And if you notice, there's a lineup hole, so you can only put it on the right way. Then we wiggle it and slide it back in place, and then put the bolts on nice and tight. Then put the reservoir assembly back in place. And then the case of this Ford, we're going to check the other side too because it usually cracks when the front one cracks, the back one will crack too. And when we take the air filter assembly out of the way, lo and behold, it's all cracked up too. So we're going to replace this side also. So we'll just unbolt that mount and lift it out of the way. And again, if you look at the new mount, it's got a tang so it only goes in one way. So you slide it in, and in this case you got to slide it around a little because it wouldn't go in a hole, but now it's in there tight. Then just bolt it back in. Put it on nice and tight. The air box back in place, it just snaps in. Then throw the air filter and the top back on. Then remove the jack and you're all done. So the next time your old motor mounts crack and make your engine vibrate and clunk, why not replace them yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as this tornado passes over.